Welcome to Build Your Arsenal. YouTube hates firearms. I posted this video a few days ago. It was fully monetized, no issues, then gets demonetized. I push back on YouTube. They give me two human manual reviews that confirmed it wasn't suitable for monetization, but of course they gave me no specifics, no explanation, just very broad guidelines that let me know how much they hate firearms. So I made a few changes. Let's see if this works. But this is why it's so important to like, share, subscribe to GunTubers videos and their channels. On to the video. Welcome to Build Your Arsenal. With the release of the 92XI Squallow, I wanted to revisit the Beretta 92XI Launch Edition and how to improve the trigger. I did a review on the Beretta 92XI Launch Edition earlier in 2023 when I first got it. Overall, my thoughts on it were mixed. I loved the concept, but the trigger was disappointing. I know Ken Hackathorn has even had similar comments about the inconsistency of the trigger pull when he was able to handle several copies of this model. According to Breda, the 92XI features the Extreme S single action only flat face trigger, performance DLC coated trigger components, and a lightweight skeletonized hammer to allow for a crisp trigger pull with the option to go cocked and locked. It's a 4.5 pound trigger pull. Breda said they incorporated all that they learned from the 92X performance into this gun. When I first got it and dry fired it, I was disappointed. In live fire, it seemed even more sluggish on the reset, especially when cranking down with a strong grip. There was none of the promised refinement of a single action only trigger. Here's video of the trigger pull and reset from when I first got it. Part of the problem on the launch edition, or at least the one I have, is that the trigger bar was rubbing the hoe grips. I'll show you what I mean. When I took the grip off for the first time, you could see extra oil on the trigger bar and where it had been rubbing the grip, and you could also tell the top screw on that side wasn't torqued down quite as much. Kind of makes me wonder if Beretta knew that there was an issue here. But anyway, to remedy this, I just took out my pocket knife and relieved the portion of the grip that had the wear marks from the trigger bar. I knew I'd found the problem because the trigger pull and reset with the grip off was so much better. Here's the trigger pull and reset now. It really is a fantastic trigger and vastly improved. I don't think this is an issue with the standard 92XI model. It really seems to just be the Hogue wood grip isn't relieved properly for the trigger bar. Some sandpaper or just hacking into it with a pocket knife like I did should be the remedy. Night and day difference here completely changed my opinion on the gun. Furthermore, Langdon Tactical Technologies, that is LTT with Ernest Langdon, is working on the 92XI and offers their trigger job and RDO cut on it at a very reasonable price. No doubt this would make it even better. Better yet, they're working on the just-released 92XI Squallow, which looks amazing. Single action only in an all-metal gun is where it's at, and that's why it's in my arsenal. Thanks for watching and see you next time.